Uh, I'm going to be showing how I solved an issue with my Ender 5 S1. The issue was when auto leveling, the hot end would move to this corner. The CR touch would be hanging off the bed, so when probing down, it wouldn't catch anything and it would just bury the hot end into the uh, plate. I actually ruined a plate with this. Um, the solution is pretty simple, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Once you click your network settings, you're going to want to take the IP listed under network name. You're going to want to input it into your browser. I have mine blocked out. And if done successfully, you should get this screen here. You're going to want to look on the left side. The third one from down looks like two brackets. You're going to want to click that. In here, you'll see a list of configurations. You're going to want to go ahead and click uh, printer.cfg. Uh, and in there, you're going to want to scroll down to, for me, it was 224, 225, and 240, 241, but uh, it should be under BL Touch documentation and Bed Mesh documentation. I don't know if the numbers will be different for you, but that's where they work for me. Uh, once you get there, under the BL Touch documentation, uh, for the X offset, you're going to change that to negative 30. For the Y offset, you're going to want to change to 25. Then you're going to want to move to bed mesh documentation and change it to 0, comma, space 45. And then you're going to change the mesh max uh, to 190, comma, 185. And, uh, yeah, that should fix your problem. It fixed mine. Um, this was all possible thanks to Reddit, uses, Reddit user Shep Magoo. So, uh, yep, that's it. It should work. Bye.